it's nice to see you. Yeah, it's nice to see you too. Mm, yeah, I know. Doesn't happen very often. <laughs> no, it should more. Yeah, I guess. Um, you know what it is? It's the there's people that are comfortable talking into a camera, and then maybe some people are just not. And I think it's definitely I, a I, spectrum. I tend to be one of those people that doesn't really like to talk into a camera. Um, I feel very awkward and uncomfortable when I try. Uh, but I get a lot of feedback that, like, I should. And you know what it is I was thinking about? Hmm. Prior to YouTube and TikTok, I don't think there was really too many circumstances where your average person just generally did their, you know, <laughs> life talking into a screen yeah. like that. So yeah. those of us that maybe are a little bit older, that come from an older generation, we aren't used to it. You know, mm -hmm. we're not used to communicating through this way. And there is something that's kind of <clears throat> awkward, I find, and about knowing that a bunch of people are potentially looking at me <laughs> and I can't see them. You know, it feels like there's yeah. this disconnect when it comes to and especially when there's very little chat happening as well it's right. like it just becomes <laughs> this kind of high pressure kind of um self-conscious place and then also when it comes to just creating videos with yourself in it there's a lot of things that go into when you're talking about just your appearance, makeup, hair, lighting, positioning, backdrop. There's just so much to think about and, and so much additional work to consider when you're doing content that involves putting your face out there. And for me, if I had to edit something that had me in it and I had to like be satisfied with it, I would probably take me five hours to edit something like with my appearance that just made me feel really satisfied versus when I use other forms of content that have my voice, I feel like people can still connect in a way because a lot can be communicated through your voice and a lot of familiarity can be gained through someone's voice. Um, but it doesn't take all the work and all the distraction of the physical presentation in order to put the work out. So with, with both of my platforms that I'm actively involved with, whether it be this platform, the Saba, or whether it be um, the path working, my focus is really on the content. You know, it's on the yeah. things that I'm trying to communicate, like the actual um, information and the facts and the details of what it is that I'm trying to get across. So I'm not really trying to have all the distraction of my physical appearance or my presentation or my background or whatever it is um, interfere with what it is that I'm trying to communicate. So it feels much more natural for me to just use a lot of stock footage of people because that's what i'm talking about all the time it's just people generally what they experience in life what they're going through um community activism type stuff so what better to put on the screen than just random people doing stuff right because it's not about yeah. me but um I do get that there's a familiarity that comes when you can interact with people, you know, through being able to see what they look like as well as what they sound like when you interact with them. But yeah, it could be like um, you're an anchor for your own show. Like the, the anchor, I don't even know anything about the anchor, but there, you know, and there are personalities online like Gary Vee. That's uh, like his, he is his own brand. You know, I think everybody has their different um, sign when it comes to, how they want to put out content so yeah i mean i dig it i dig the style i dig the uh the imagery the the storytelling that you have in in your videos um it really paints that picture of our future which um, we're slowly molding and, and actually making happen which is pretty exciting so appreciate that but yeah sure. i figured that was one of the things that was kind of on my mind that i wanted to share because i've definitely gotten feedback and question about you know you're the founder of this project you know the initial person you know with a lot of background and the fact that you're not necessarily um presenting yourself so much within the content it makes people question you know are you genuine you know are you who you say you are all those kind of um things that are legitimate questions you know obviously when it comes to projects like what we do there's a lot of situations where people are trying to scam. And so to have um, 
seeming like less than um, forthcoming people involved with something can end up making people feel skeptical. So I don't I don't want people to feel that way that I'm like trying to hide anything or I'm trying to hide myself. And that's why I just felt like it probably was a good idea to talk a little bit about um, why even to be able to create videos later on from the content to be able to explain, you know, that it's just my own style that I don't particularly care to put myself into too much of the content. Um, I will, you know, and I think in the future when obviously there's um, things that I'm actively involved with on land and doing active projects, obviously I'll be seen and I'll be on video and, and that, but just to understand that I don't particularly feel comfortable or natural or that it's worth all the time and effort that it takes for me to present myself in front of a camera. Um, to, to create just the day-to-day -day content. So, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Fair enough. 